What's up, YouTube? This is your boy Quinn Wade, Quinn Antonio, coming with y'all second video for the hot topic. We're gonna talk about Nikola Vucevic, a guy that's pretty much should be an all star. He got his deal from Orlando this year. They gave him a good deal. I don't know if I I'd probably if I was Vucevic though, I probably would have tested the free agency and see if I can go to a better team because there's a lot of teams that need for a center, especially a center that's good in pick and roll, can shoot free throws, shoot a jump shot. And got hustle points like rebound, putbacks, putback dunks. Nikola Vucevic, that Dwight Howard trade was almost a steal for what they got back, especially since the Lakers end up not keeping Dwight Howard and the Sixers end up not keeping Andrew Bynum. Orlando Magic definitely won that trade, and they got an all star in the making in Vucevic and a good person to build a franchise around. They got a lot of, Orlando got a lot of role, like a lot of talent on his team now. I'm liking where they coming from. I'm liking what they building now. And I'm liking what I'm seeing at Nikola Vucevic. Let's run down his numbers real quick for y'all that don't know. This year he putting up a career high at 19.4 points a game. That's going to stay high because he's shooting 16 shots a game. They finally feature no more in the offense because if you remember last, last the last couple years, he just been a put back guy, a guy that give you a lot of hustle, they didn't run a lot of post plays for him, but now Vucevic is really getting the touches he deserved because he's the best player on the team, and he's getting the money he deserved. Now he's not underrated. He's just a player that everybody know about. When you go against Orlando, you know about what Vucevic is going to do. You know how he's going to rebound. You know he's going to punish you on the block. You know he's going to shoot them jump shots. You know what he brings to the table now. So Vucevic got paid. He getting paid like he's supposed to get paid, and everybody taking notice of this guy. So... Another thing that's good about him is his rebounding. Like I said, he getting three offensive rebounds a game, and he getting nine defensive rebounds a game. That totals up to 12.1 rebounder rebounds a game. He usually averaged around 11. So 12 probably going to go down to 11, but ain't no real dominant rebounders on Orlando. But his, his, his rebound numbers are crazy, even though he's really the only person rebounding in Orlando. His assist has gone up because, like I said, he's touching the ball more. So his assist goes up to 2.5, which is very, very good to show that he's unselfish. And he and when he's on that pick and roll, he's not shooting a shot. He's passing it to the open guy. He's dribbling a little bit, getting some open passes. And when he in the post, he's kicking it out. He ain't holding the ball that much. He averaging 1.1 block, which is pretty good. He only averaged one block once in his career. I suspect that the goal, I wish that was a little higher. Because like I said, he's the only real presence down there, down low. So I suspect him around be around two blocks, but he's not really amazing athletically. But he can time his blocks. He should be able to get around two a game. But I don't think he's going to improve that part of his game. And he only averaging 0.1 steals. And one thing that he improved on was his free throw shooting. He came in the league shooting 52%. Came next year shooting 68. Came the next year shooting 76. Came this year shooting 78. But the thing is that he's been shooting more free throws every year. He's been more aggressive. He's been going more to the paint. He's banging down there. He's not settling for jumpers. He's getting up in the bodies when he's in the post. And he getting he drawing fouls, something that he never did before. And I'm surprised that he's actually doing it. He's really getting more aggressive. He's not just settling no more. And he, when he's getting on rebounds, he's, he's banging. Like I said, he's touching bodies now. And he's getting three free throws a game. And his field goal percentage is at a career high right now at 52%, which is surprising because he shot more shots. You think if you shoot more shots, your field goal percentage will go down like Paul Millsap. But his field goal percentage actually went up because he's taking smart shots. He's not rushing shots. And he's taking shots he should take. Like, he get a wide open jumper. He take he get his feet position right, and he has the confidence to knock it down. He's not rushing it. He's not doing it quick. He's taking his time and knocking down a jump shot. He's shooting 50% off mid-range jump shots right now. And if he's doing that, it's going to be hard to stop him because you ain't going to want him to go to the paint. You're going to want him to shoot that jump shot every time. And if he's making half his jump shots, I think you don't want to live with the results no more. But it should drop off. It's going to be hard for him to make half his jump shot for a whole 82 season. But he's having a career year this year, guys. And he's flying under the radar right now. Putting up 19 a game and 12 rebounds. He should be an all-star in my book, especially for centers. Especially since you got, you really got Al Jefferson to me. And Joe Kim Noah haven't really been doing what he used to, what he was doing. You really got Al Jefferson. Roy Hibbert got injured. He been playing real good this year. 
I think it's really Vucevic and Al Jefferson that should be the all-stars for the centers to me in the East. Let me know what you guys think about Nikola Vucevic. Let me see. Let me know what you like about the video. Comment, like, subscribe, and share. And hope you guys enjoy the video. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And if you're new to the channel, check out my older videos and subscribe. Quinn Wade, Quinn W20, signing out.